What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Sierra Burgess is a Loser. Let's rock this. <laughs> After To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and now this, both in one season, I think it's safe to say that Netflix knows how to do teen high school rom-com right. By the way, the leading guy in this movie, Noah Centineo, is also the same leading guy into all the boys I've loved before. So essentially, he goes from romancing Lana Condor to romancing Shannon Purser in such a short period of time. You'll be watching this movie and going, Hey, didn't that guy just kiss that cute Asian girl last month? In all seriousness though, Sierra Burgess is a Loser is yet another sweet, endearing, entertaining, irresistible John Hughes X comedy with an ending that's bound to put a smile on your face. Directed by Ian Samuels, written by Lindsay Beer, Sierra Burgess is a Loser stars Shannon Purser as the title character, an intelligent teen that doesn't fall into the category of your regular textbook high school pretty, but she teams up with the school's most popular girl in order to win her crush through a case of mistaken identity. Funny I mentioned John Hughes earlier because this movie also features actor Alan Ruck, whom you may recognize from his role in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Sierra Burgess is a Loser also features another 80s icon, Leah Thompson from the famed Back to the Future trilogy. And on top of that, I kid you not, the music score in this film by composers Bram Inskor and Brett McLaughlin sounds like 80s synthesizer score music. <laughs> so Sierra Burgess is a Loser may call itself a modern rom-com, but it's got elements that kind of feel retro. It's yet another example of another film banking on nostalgia to reel you in, which is a smart move on their part, if you ask me. There's not much more to say about Sierra Burgess is a Loser other than that the whole case of mistaken identity is pretty funny. That concept alone is not really unique. It's been done before in other comedy movies in the past. Only this time, you see it done in today's phone text addicted generation. Even the arc and the conflict and the self-realization and the gay best friend are all pretty formulaic, but they're not necessarily negative points. If anything, Sierra Burgess is a loser works because you get what you came to see. It's a rom-com that does what it's supposed to do. It plays it pretty safe, but you don't mind, because it gives you that warm, fuzzy feelings that makes your cheeks blush. And if you were wondering what happened to Barb from Stranger Things, well, here she is! A thousand credits to Shannon for taking this on as the lead, her performance is on point, you really feel for the girl every step of the way. I wouldn't even call this an ugly duckling story. This is about true beauty being more than skin deep. This is regular folk winning over the Prince Charming's heart, which actually happens quite often in the real world. So that's it. That's my review of Sierra Burgess is a Loser. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and share this video with all your friends on the YouTube verse. And as always, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. This latest review is made possible thanks to your support on Patreon. So please go to patreon.com slash ramascreen, sign up there today, and become my patrons. Let's rock this.